Today we're going to do an open box and review the Andostar 2 megapixels ALED 500 times microscope. How are we doing everyone? Once again, this is Dario, your host from Media Box ENT. And what we got today, we got something great. We always got something great. So this time we got an open box and review. We're gonna do all the same time an Andostar microscope. Dario microscope? Yes, we're gonna do a microscope. This one has a 500 times LED, two megapixel HD USB, so it's kind of cool. I did review other ones, but it was not even worth to do the video because we're so crappy but this one seems to be pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of parts to build. I want to just do live, so we're gonna be open this, and then later on, we're gonna try it so you guys can see. This will be pretty cool, like my case, to see those MSQ Pro boxes to identify the chips. We can see it closer, so we can make different videos. Now we can see real close on the motherboards, whatever we're gonna be showing in the future. But if you're interested to use for other things, I think it's pretty cool for projects or things you want to see box. I mean, if you got kids maybe in the school and want to see little box, yeah, maybe maybe they throw a bug at it. I don't, I don't know if I want to see a bug on the microscope. So let's give it a shot. We're gonna swap cameras now and we're gonna just look the one in the back so we can see a good uh, point of view of the microscope. So we're switching cameras now. So let's look the box. I don't want to tell about the graphics. So let's see what we get. I'm not open this yet. Just I want to do this live. So here it seems really we have like the main brand, right? So here we have the microscope. Metal there, yeah, maybe metal, plastic. Nice. Good bill. That's it. Oh, this one. So the USB cable. I would think this is for the light. And it has a switch or oh, to take a picture. And here we can change. And it's good too because uh, yeah, I guess you can use it like a pencil. So let's put this in the side. And here we got a bunch of errands. Oh, different, well, different errands. Different tubes. And let's see what all that stuff is for. Okay. Uh, I guess this is to regulate maybe. So let's see. Okay. I would think that will go there. What else we get? We get the play. And this D. All right, so let's put this together. Let's see. Even though on online it looks bigger well, it looks like it's a big unit, but it looks pretty small. Well, I thought this would be bigger, but that's fine. It does, it does the job. So let's see. So we get this. So I'm thinking this has to go here. Okay, I see. And I'm thinking this needs to come off. Oh, I see. That goes there. Oh, yeah, okay. There, so we see up to now in here this is nice because you can go slow and regulate so you see here okay as we see here let me this we control the light the LED light okay with this one we're gonna control the focus here we control the focus here we're gonna go up and down and this one we can actually if we need to change the side, we need to be changing. Let me see if I can, and this we can turn it. So you see here, let me show you on the camera, around right the front, okay? Now, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be recording in another screen. Okay, so we're gonna swap the screens. So the first thing we're gonna look, let's give it a look in uh, Raspberry Pi. Okay, if you wonder, let me see, we can use, I'm gonna use that. So let's see how we see this first. Let's focus. So we're surprised I was trying this. Now we see we get some glare there. So it actually will have a lot of lighting because I do a lot of recording, so. But here, if we bring the 
can we can see better almost is a little bit of light i don't know if you can see in the camera this is totally off and this is a maximum give me a little glare but that's pretty pretty good let's see if we can see some of the capacitors there okay let's bring we can either focus better so we're here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this down. We can bring this whole tube only. And by the way, what I'm recording right now is um, 1920 by 1600, the maximum resolution. So we're gonna get much closer. We're gonna focus. This is real good. I wasn't surprised how good it is. Look, can we get a little much closer? It's good for inspection for QC. If you guys are going to do any QC or you want to inspect the board or look anything, a small print. See, we can see now. Can I solder there? I thought I have a, my small tips on my solder, but I do not have any small tip, and this will be too big either. But we can see right there. That's my solder. This will be, I have to get a small. This is a, I'm using a screwdriver. I guess it can, can be possible. Here I got maybe less than a half an inch. Let me show you this way. Okay. Let's get closer. But I can solder there if I have to, if I have to do a repair. So let's get much closer. I think that's the closest. Okay. I need some space. If I got a solder, but let's see. Yeah. Surprise, a nice array, yeah. And what you guys see in is real time. These don't move at all. I guess if you're gonna need to use the board, we need something to hold the board. The real is good. This, so this thing will not move. If you need to do any solder, I can barely see it from my own eyes here. If I want to pick down, let me see what I'm looking at right now. Yeah, looks humongous. I don't remember what I, I broke the sticker of my solder roll, so it's hard for me to figure out the side. But you can see there. I mean, with the. Uh, yeah, this is humongous, look. But it can be possible to solder. I mean, you need the right tools, which is looking out. So it's pretty good. Let's see how close. Can I get closer now? So this is all the way down to the bottom, okay? And let's see how much closer. So we're gonna move this now. We're gonna move this down because we're gonna get real close. And let me see if I can get more closer. I'm gonna adjust this. Yeah, I'm about half an inch from the board. Let me see if we can still do a little more. about less than half an inch from the actually bore okay so yeah it barely move and everything is a mile away so you have to make sure everything is tight but this will be only for inspection you can even yeah So that will be the closest we can get to the board, but that's that's pretty close enough. So let's look um, in MQ Pro. Everyone's having problem to figure out sometimes the Wi-Fi chip. So let's look right there. Let's get closer. Just a zoom. And right there. Let's give it more light. Let's see if we need more light. Less light. Can we get closer? I say. In this case, it's an 8189. Okay, so we can see. Nice, huh? Not bad at all. I mean, the unit looks pretty good. So, what we see right now is a C fan. 
with some hair we can even make up I don't know I guess from my guts or whatever but we can see this is actually a sea fan real close and if it's let's get a little closer Wow so what do you guys think it works pretty good right I was surprised how good it is and everything is metal uh, comes with the nice long cable and it works nice uh, it works real good you saw the video it was running a um, um, 1600 so it's a high resolution what I was seeing in, in my laptop and the same time I was um, recording so it's surprised how good it is it's good for QC so if you got anything to QC it will be good for solder well you need to have the right tools if you're going to decide something so small but you can do a repair I would say this is good for the school for the kids if they got to do a project I think that will be real good to do a project because now you can record too so definitely I give you I give you a time up I, I got definitely give you a 10 at this software wise I wish I'm happy with the software means because I have to search on it first comes with the small CD today most of the laptop they no longer come with the CD now so kind of you need to look for download if you go to the main company andostar.com I don't know why they don't have a support link contact us and they show all the product but they, sh they should put a link to the software for people they don't have a CD you can download it so you need to search it and I can even find the software the drivers they detect automatic my Windows 10 the software, the software actually when it detected it called webcam 2.0 that's it you know that will be the name of the driver it's a normal driver from the camera so I have to search on it now the CD the directors are in Chinese even though you click and it says startup none of the, the one of the software I get the main software didn't work for me then I want to get installed I don't know why so I search on it and I find a software called the auto camera and that was pretty good. I'm going to put a link if I can find it again because I was doing a, a fast search. And that works pretty good. That's the one I record the video that you guys have seen. I use the same software to record. There are different software you can use. There are some that give you measurements. But I could not get none of those softwares. So my only concern is to pay the company. I should put a link so you can download the software. Kind of you need to search for the software. But beside the product, works pretty good. It's worth the money about I think of forty dollars or something and that's the job what you need if you're going to do any small electronic if you got the pressure for the school kids you want to see a little box so we kind of cool to see box here so you can see it up to 500 times you can record a video on it so definitely worth a while so I'm going to give you a link in the video where you're going to see where you can get it if you're interested to get one of this and also I'm going to put the link the software I was using for this all right, so thank you. So remember, make sure if you're not part of Media Box ENT yet, subscribe to my channel since we got a lot of cool things coming out all the time. Thumbs up and share to your friends. Thank you.